Right guys, now we're ready to finish the final part to this tutorial um, of assemblies. Okay, so now we're going to open up our parts from the uh, plate and we're going to use them to assemble them together. Okay, so first go to open and we'll go find the files where they were. Plate. Now, I want to open them all up, remember, so I'll highlight them all. I don't want to open up plate assembly, which I've already created. So if I hold down control, I can select the parts that I want on the keyboard. Okay, that's a useful one to remember. And you can do that in most software. So there's my bolt, plate, and washer. Okay, so now we're ready to start a new assembly. So I'll go up to new, and we'll go... First of all, we'll go uh, to assembly, OK, right, OK, so here we are in our window. As done before, guys, remember we want to be aligning the uh, front, all the planes within the assembly with the part, with the planes with the part, within the part. So we'll go up again to file, view, origins, OK, across to plate, and we'll click on the plate and align them two together. So that's going to be our first part that we bring in. Now, okay, what parts we're going to be bringing in next? I, I can get rid of the uh, viewing the origins again. First of all, we'll bring in, we'll bring in our washers, okay? Because remember, as we can see from the last one, the, it was sandwiched, the washers go next, then another plate, and then we'll finish off with the bolts. So, we've got the washer, we've got one, Two, got to keep inserting the parts. Three, four. Okay, so we've got them in now. Right, as opposed to before, we're going to be using a different mate to the previous one, um, which is the coin coincident mate. Okay, um, sorry, the con concentric mate, which means if we've got a a circular region, 3D region, and we've got another circular region. We select them both, and watch what happens. This basically means that this will run up and down there. Okay, so we're going to go around the object. Uh, first of all, I'm going to do. I'm going to select the bottom face as well, and then the top face of their plate. So we're going to go around, repeating that process there and there. Bottom and top. And there. And the bottom, which is a coincident, mate, by the way. Guys, so if we just look over here, we'll select that. Uh, it's coincident. SolidWorks is really kind and does it for us, so that's nice. Nice thing. Okay, we're coincident. There, there. Oh, hang on. There we go, and then finally, the bottom and the top. I mean, it's always good to mess around as well, guys, with these, so do try it out on your own with different projects. So now we've got that into place, now we're ready to insert our next component, which is the plate. We'll go, that will locate there. And with this, all we have to do, because we know these two plates are the same size, I can literally align that plate side and that side and then that side and that side green ticks and then that bottom part and the bottom face of there okay green tick I mean you can undo these things so I've just done done that one there you just click tick back like in your word document or so on if you use programs before which I'm sure you have. And there we go. Now that's located. Now, all simply enough, just take it on to our final our final part. So insert component, and that is the bolt. So we've got four bolts. With the bolts, there are such thing in SolidWorks called smart fasteners, but um, these can be found up here. 
so we need sometimes your files might be loaded up so it's always good to get to grips with how to do it manually to start off with guys so drawing the bolts and then actually um, aligning them. notice as well they don't actually have the screw threads on them this uh, this isn't a requirement if you're producing a 3d model for a company um, people tend to draw them without because the more details remember on these parts then the, the the larger the file and the longer it takes to load up so it's good to keep it uh, at a minimum okay so we'll align all of these so that and that and then now if I align them two together bring that down they'll both go down together okay guys I'm going a bit quicker now because I'd expect you to be getting to grips and it's pretty straightforward it's just a procedure of clicking one face that comes into contact with another and green tick and then the same goes one face and another and there we have our finished plate assembly and that concludes this assembly's tutorial